Hello students, I welcome you all to my channel Engineers Academy. Today it's a tutorial based on uh, converting the table data into a matrix. So let's say that we have some data in Excel which is arranged like this. We have some uh, column headers and we have some row headers. These are row names and these are column names. And we want to convert this table into a matrix form and we want to have the the numeric data in in the square brackets and we want to have these names these rows names and these columns name so how to do it the first step is that uh, we have to copy this uh, column header right we have to copy all these so i will press ctrl c or we can say right click and copy so we will paste it here so this is the first step now the second step is to convert this uh, table into plain text. So how to convert this into text? We will click on this layout and then convert to text. So this is the second step. And then we have this uh, menu in which it's, it's, it says that separate text with paragraph marks, tapes, commas, other. So we want to separate uh, this text with some other symbol and that symbol will be this AND symbol, right? So we will enter AND and we will press OK. So now we have those uh, column names separated by that AND sign. Now the next step will be is to remove these spaces one by one. We have some space between item and this three. So we need to remove this space. So how to remove this? Again select this. Then in the home uh, menu or the home tape, we have this replace. So we will click on replace and then on the spatial we want to remove the we want to replace the white space right we have paragraph mark tape character so at the end we have white space and if there is no white space written so you people can enter this symbol using your keyboard right so this tape and w so it will uh, enter the space right and then we want to replace that space with with nothing right so so i will I will remove anything if uh, some something is written here so we will delete it and then we will click on replace all so replace all and then it says we made four replacement your selection do you want to search the rest of the documents so no and then we will click this replace so now as we can see that we have converted that item one item two item three item four into a plain text and then we have removed the, those spaces between item and one, item two, and item three. Similarly, again, we need to convert this, these row names into plain text. So again, I will right click and copy, or we can press Control C, and then we will paste it here. So Control V. This is. The, let me copy this. Control C, and then Control V. Again, we will convert this into plain text. So we will select this table and then layout, convert to text, again other and we have to enter this end sign, OK. And then we, uh, now here we have the, if we show the symbols, so we have these uh, paragraphs, right? We have these enter signs, right? So we need to remove these paragraphs. Right, so for that we have to select this data and then again in the home tab click on the replace and now in place of the paragraph mark we want to replace that paragraph mark with at the rate sign. So I will remove this or I will click on spatial and paragraph mark so now we have paragraph mark here and we want to replace with at the rate symbol right if if there are paragraph marks so you people will always need to uh, replace that with at the rate sign in order to convert them into a matrix so again i will click on replace all no and close so now we have that uh, data this data january february march april in terms of plain text and we have that data in line in one continuous line and we have separate all the data with at the rate sign so what this at the rate sign will do is that when we will copy this into matrix so it will 
uh, tell the word uh, equation that you need to write February in the next row and similarly March in the next row and April in the next row. So, so the at the rate science tells that this text um, February is to be written in the next row and similarly March to be written in the next row. So we do not need to add uh, another row after April so we will remove this. So this is we will remove this at the rate sign. Now again I will copy this right click copy and then we will paste it here again. So again we need to convert this table into plain text. So we will click on layout convert to text and then we will click on other and we need to replace it uh, separate text with and sign ok. Again we have the paragraph symbols so we need to remove these paragraph symbols. So again this data is selected select this data click on the replace and then special we have paragraph mark we want to convert the paragraph mark into at the rate symbol and then replace all no and close. So now we have all that numeric data in one single line as a text and each number is replaced by and sign and each row in the data 8, 51, 25, 28 this is row number 1. So row number 2 is 39, 43, 47, 12 so, so before 39 we need to have at the rate symbol. So at the rate symbol will tell the word uh, Microsoft Word that we need to write 39, 43, 47 and 12 in another row. So, so once we have all these, uh, we need to uh, remove this since at the end we don't have, we, we don't want to have any extra rows. So I will erase this. And now the next step is we want to have this matrix like data. So now we will click on this insert and this equation let me enter this equation here let's say insert and this equation and then in equation I will insert this fraction and then in the numerator I will enter a I will write backslash matrix and then round bracket start and then we will copy this data and make sure that you people do not copy this paragraph symbol with it right so always click on this to show the show or hide the paragraph marks and other hidden formatting symbols so we need to show the uh, the formatting symbols right so once we show this formatting symbol we need to copy this we need to copy all this text but without that paragraph mark so I have selected this and I will copy it. I will press Ctrl C and then I will paste it here. After the round brackets, I will paste it here and then I will close the brackets and press Enter. Now we have that item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4 in a matrix. And now we have uh, one another extra row. We don't want to have this row. So click in this, uh, click in this row and right click and delete equation. So we have added this item 1, item 2, item 3 and item 4. Similarly we need to repeat the same method. I, again I will write backslash matrix and then round bracket start and now I will copy this. I will copy this but without the paragraph mark. So how to copy this? Click here, press the shift button and the the arrows the right arrow button right this is shift right arrow and select this control C and paste it here control V and close the brackets enter and again we have some extra row so we will delete it click in this row and right click and delete equation now we we want to enter that numeric numbers in square brackets so uh, I will go to equations since we are in equations so we will have this equation tape so I will click on this equation after the equation I will introduce that brackets that square brackets so we have that square brackets 
and now again I will repeat the same method that is backslash matrix and then round bracket start and now again we will copy this we will copy this control C and then control V and close the round bracket and press enter now we have that numeric data here now we need to adjust the spacing and we need to delete this row so I will I will click in this row right click delete equation now we need to have this item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4 exactly uh, above these columns so how we can do we can adjust the spacing of this matrix so click in click in somewhere here then right click matrix spacing and then here we have minimum distance between columns so instead of single we need to select exactly and then in exactly let's say if I enter 50 let's say 50 point spacing okay so now we have 50 point spacing now again we need to arrange the spacing between this item 1 item 2 item 3 item 4 so again click on one of the one of the element of the matrix that is item 1, item 2, uh, item 3, item 4 these are uh, elements of the matrix right click matrix spacing and then exact spacing and let's say I enter 25 ok so uh, again uh, 25 is a, a little bit less space so again I will right click matrix spacing let's say let's make it 27 let's say 27 okay and then we can adjust it by clicking here and pressing the space button let's say so this is item 1 item 2 and let's say I can enter spacing here let's say so we will fit these names exactly above these uh, columns and once we enter all these uh, once we convert this text into matrix so then we can enter the spacing between this item 1 item 2 item 3 item 4 so this and and at the end if you people do not want to have this straight line in between so since it, uh, we have entered this in terms of a fraction click on this right click right click somewhere here right right click and remove fraction bar so fraction bar is removed and now we have that data in Excel in, in the form of a matrix uh, just like this that is item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4 and January, February, March, April. So this is how we can convert the table data into matrix. I hope this will help you. Uh, let me know in the comments if it helps and subscribe Engineers Academy for such more tricks related to Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word.